TV Rising every day. What's going on beautiful bees? I hope you're all doing well. Today we're making a big green salad. This is from my Healthy Recipes for Life ebook. It's actually on page 41. And the reason I call this, this is the Heal All Salad because of all the foods that we're putting into this salad, it feeds the good bacteria in your gut, in your microbiome. And what we're learning is that it's so important to feed these guys and not the so-called bad guys. And so for people that are dealing with a number of health conditions, this salad is amazing, uh, especially if you're dealing with wanting to detox sulfur, yeast, fungus, mold, uh, parasites. <laughs> uh, this is a raw salad and there's so many benefits to getting greens in your body. This, this is a mix of lettuce, uh, we got chard, we got some spinach, and I try to get in greens every day uh, because I notice a huge difference if I don't. So, and I love the minerals, the vitamins, it's good for your teeth, it's good extra protein, it's good to get in those minerals. It also helps to, it helps your liver, it helps your kidneys to filter out waste and helps your whole GI tract. So I always look at a holistic approach. The body is one and it doesn't matter, for me, it doesn't matter what condition you're dealing with, it's important to look at whole foods. And uh, that's what I look at here. So what I got in this salad right here is one green apple. And we are just going to thinly slice the apple and we'll put it on the salad and green apples apples in general are amazing because they contain fiber vitamin c they're hydrating and what we're looking at for health is we're looking at a hydrating experience and green apples also contain pectin which is one of the beneficial prebiotics that feed the good, the good guys, the good bacteria, the good bacteria in your gut. So I got them sliced just like this and we're just going to toss that on the salad. So yeah, it's about eating the probiotic rich foods to feed the good bacteria. This salad will do that. If you're dealing with even excess estrogen, the greens are really good for pulling that out as well, which I have dealt with, right? So I used to drink a lot of dairy, um, eat a lot of cheese, and if you have any sort of condition you want to get any sort of inflammatory condition you want to get dairy out uh, the reason is it's not like the dairy that my grandma even my great grandmother grew up with the dairy is a whole different story nowadays and even my grandma will tell you that and it's what they're they're what they're feeding the cows right and what they're injecting the cows with. So bovine growth hormones, uh, it's, it's made to get the cows to produce milk faster, right? So they're produced, they're, the, the cow's hormones are all out of whack. And then we drink the milk or eat the cheese uh, and then that can create imbalances in our own body. So if you're having any issues, I'd say try to get dairy out of your diet unless you can find, you know, I wouldn't even, I, I wouldn't even mess with it. I was going to say goat, you know, maybe goat milk if you have a goat on your property, but I wouldn't even mess, mess around with that if you have any sort of condition. 
So we got the green apple on there. Take a look at that. Okay, so pectin is what you want. You want to get in the prebiotics to feed your good gut bacteria. Now I also have beets. Okay, so uh, actually I would like a few more beets than this because they're super detoxifying for your liver. High iron, there's a number of great uh, minerals in beets and it also has betaine, which is a powerful antioxidant. And it's like that red pigment color. So if we're looking at antioxidants, you can see that they're, the colors, even we got some wild blueberries here. See that uh, blue color? These are the antioxidants that our body needs, right, to prevent free radicals or, you know, cancerous cells, which is just mutated cell, a damaged cell in our body. And so uh, important to help our cells out. Every part of our body is made up of cells. So it's important to strengthen our cells and regenerate these cells. And that's where raw a lot trying to get in more raw living foods is really helpful because we're getting in enzymes live enzymes living foods that can first of all feed the cells and clean them and give them this give our organs and glands support that they need to regenerate and detoxify in our environment nowadays there's so much pollution um, we're being polluted, you know, not only in the air, the water, the food. Uh, so we really want to take care of ourselves, take care of our bodies. It's just like a river. We're 80% water. So we want to make sure our river is flowing. Our blood is clean, alkalized. And a lot of people um, will talk about the alkaline diet. Uh, what they're not taking into consideration is the lymphatic system which we can't, the blood always has to maintain a certain level pH, so you can't, it'll always maintain regulation or else we would die. But there's the lymphatic system, which is a lipid-based system that we also have to keep pumping. And that's where exercise can come in, so that's where I like to get out in nature as much as possible. So we're just gonna throw the beets on top of here, just spread them out nicely. And like I said, I wish I had a bit more beets, but I'm currently out. I'm also going to take some wild blueberries and we're going to toss some blueberries on here. So this is more of like a, I guess we have the beets on there, but I, I try to get in some fruit as well. Now I like to sometimes do a more kind of bitter salad, uh, but I do like sweet salads as well. So. Next, we're going to add cucumber. This is an organic cucumber. You want to avoid certain foods that um, absorb more pesticides. Um, so cucumber, you want to make sure that if you're going to get cucumber, get organic. Things like avocados, because they have a thicker skin, um, I don't worry about as much, even bananas, but I still try to get organic. So the cucumber, we're going to thinly slice as well. And you guys, the salad doesn't take too long, right? It's just, it's just about action, right? A lot of times it's about changing our belief systems and just, instead of saying you can't, just do, just, just do it. <laughs> put it, put it, go it. It's about applying, making the change and, and following through. So that's where action is super powerful. So it's just a matter of doing it. So we got, so I didn't cut up the full cucumber. I cut up half the cucumber. Cucumber's really hydrating for the skin also contains a number of minerals, um, such as potassium, right? So it keeps everything in balance, which is what we want here, balance. 
Okay, so here we go. We got some wild blueberries, beets, cucumber, super hydrating. Uh, really good to hydrate your body. And then what we can do now is we can add on some hemp seeds or we can also add some chopped walnuts for the omega-3s. Uh, so I do like the crunch of the walnuts, but I think for this salad, um, for today, I'm going to just stick with adding in some hemp seeds. And I really love hemp. It's a good source of aminos and minerals. And, um, and yeah, I find it, it's really beneficial after a workout. So I love to get in the hemp seeds. It's a good source of aminos. Now you guys, I also have, we could do this too. I have some chickpeas that we could throw on there as well. Uh, the thing with these, I want to give these about another day because I'm sprouting them. But uh, you can add some chickpeas on there as well. Um, even if you want to um, do them in the oven for more of like a crunch, that would be really, really good. So here is the beautiful salad. All right, guys, I got to wrap this up because the video cut off there. So I apologize about that. But the dressing is very, very simple. So what we have is a quarter cup of maple syrup. We have a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar with the mother. It's important to get with the mother because that's where the beneficial bacteria comes in. We have, so a quarter cup of maple syrup, quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of mustard, a teaspoon of tamari or Bragg's liquid aminos. Uh, we got a little bit, half a teaspoon of olive oil. I find it helps to, with the olive oil, helps to keep the dressing on, like stuck to the grains. Uh, and I would add on an avocado, but this one isn't quite ready yet. So we'll have to hold off on the avocado. And then what I typically do is I, I don't pour the dressing on until I'm ready to eat it. So oftentimes I'll just keep this like this in the fridge covered with this, the dressing covered, and then I'll pour it on right before I'm about to serve it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It is beautiful and you can, you can play around with it. You know, play around with the veggies, play around with the fruit. Uh, for this, I find uh, with the cucumber, the beets and the wild, blueberries it's like the perfect mix um, and you could add some walnuts on there too or some chickpeas like I said and that would be perfect that would be the amazing salad so we're gonna just keep this as is and if you guys want more recipes like this one and salad dressings check out my healthy recipes for life ebook I talk a lot about healing foods whole foods and uh, I just want to also say thank you guys to whoever purchased my, for those of you that purchased my ebook. Really um, appreciate that. And um, it really does help me out here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, be your beautiful selves. Be getting in some whole healthy foods today and every day. And be getting in some nature. When you do that, we'll all be rising.